Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode. In today's episode, we're going to be going over through the immunologic checkpoints. And this is actually one vast, vast world of science and specifically biology uh, that we're going to be ch that we're going to try to tackle in this short video. So let's get started by not wasting any time. Our immune system has adapted different methods to regulate what cells uh, should die and what cells shouldn't. This is primarily due to the presence of the CD28 family receptors, most notably the CD20, uh, the CD28, the CTLA4, and the PD1, and the respective receptors. Now, which are going to be binding to the B7 family, which are the receptors? So they're going to be B7.1, B7.2, the PDL1, which is the receptor for the PD1, and the PDL2. So in other words, the PDL1, the PD ligand 1 on the tumor cell is going to be binding to the PD1, which is on the T cell. And this is going to be inhibiting the T cell killing of the tumor cell. So basically, these CD28 family receptors, their main job is to prevent uh, the killing of tumor cells. So in essence, this is going to be, while for the most part, this is a good thing for in our body but when it comes to tumor cells this is definitely not a good technique so what scientists have devised and proposed is that we use anti-pd1 and anti-pd L1, which is going to be preventing the interaction of them, uh, the PD1 in this case, to the PDL1, and the uh, uh, basically what is going to be happening is that they're not going to be able to be binding, they're not going to be able to uh, stimulate, and this is going to be resulting in the killing of the tumor cells because there is no inhibition, right? So this goes in hand in hand with the other receptors, which are the B7.1 and the B7.2, the same thing. In this case, uh, this uh, on the tumor cells. So basically we've got the B7.1 and the B7.2 which are let's recall co-stimulatory molecules without which the cell is not going to be triggered to get uh, killed so these are going to be present on the tumor cells and these are going to be binding to the CD28 family receptors in this case the CTLA4 on the T cell and this is going to be resulting in just like before the PD1 and the anti PD uh, and the PDL1 it's going to be resulting in no death of the tumor cell. So what is happening is here, here is that just like the previous part, the scientists have devised different techniques, be that binding of antibodies or other small molecules onto these CD28 receptors. And this is going to be blocking the inhibition therefore allowing the T cell with the TC cell which is the cytotoxic T cell to kill the tumor cell so in essence we are blocking the inhibition we are blocking the PDL1 and the PD1 interaction we are blocking the B7.1 slash B7.2 either one and the CTLA4 which are when they are stimulated when they are bound they're going to be leading to no killing but when they are not bound for example in this case we're blocking them that means they are going to be killing the tumor cells. This concludes today's episode and also this small playlist on immunotherapy. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching and for your continued support. This has been Ali from B Biology.